Hello and welcome to a My Stamp Lady video. Today I'm going to show you how I did this background with this cardstock behind this card. So let's get started. Okay, I used the Simply Scored along with the diagonal plate put in. So I'm just going to show you, I do have other videos showing how to use both of these pieces, so I'm not going to really go into a lot of detail with those right now. But just to get my crumb cake cardstock, I scored at four and a quarter, and that will just get that in half. I like to score my cardstocks; they have a better, um, a crisper fold at the top. Then, now with the diagonal plate, it has a little arrow, and that's going to tell you that you want to put it in in that direction. So now I can use it with my ruler. Ahead of time, I took a piece of crumb cake cardstock painted it with a few coats of just craft acrylic paint. Now I'm going to put it down in the corner here and using my stylus, you can, oops, sorry, want to do it upside down because I want my grooves to go, to go outward. Okay, so I've got my zero and then I'm just going to do them every half inch. Just slide down, there's a little groove here slide down and follow the diagonal groove until you go across. Oops. There we go. This one. Now I want to turn it 90 degrees and score again. back and I have all of my grooves scored. Now I want them to show up a bit better and since and since I have the acrylic paint over the crumb cake cardstock I can go in with a sanding block and what I'm doing is just sanding the raised surfaces, sanding the paint off of that and that's going to make those yellow, I'm sorry, the score lines show up a bit better. Now if you wanted, you could even do, I was thinking after I'd done this one, that you could do maybe a early espresso and then the cardstock lines, or I mean the scored lines, would show through even a bit more. Okay, I'm back and I've sanded off what I would like from the top of those scored lines. So just sand it until you have the look you want. Take this background in here. And with some adhesive, I can just place this down. Oh, that. Okay. Now I can just set that aside. Pull in our accent piece, and I'm using this bench from the Have a Seat set. Linking that up with early espresso. And then I am using actually a hostess set. Magnificent is the perfect word for you from Perfect Words. And again, just using early espresso. And I'm just gonna place that right up there. Okay, I'm taking a piece of early espresso cardstock using the eyelet border punch. And I'm going to punch out, just lining up my what I've previously punched out with the pictures on the base of the punch. And I get my little eyelet punched piece. There we go. Let's put some adhesive on the back side and place that down just so that the eyelet border is peeking out. With some early espresso rip, uh, Baker's Twine Let's take, I just usually take like the amount I want to leave to tie. And I'm going to wrap that around twice. Set this down, tie a quick knot. Okay. And I 
I want it to stand up just a little bit from the background, so I'm going to take dimensionals and place those on the back. Okay, and that gives it a little bit of lift. Take off the covers. Pull in my card front. And look at this, I'm almost done already. Place that on over the front and the background. Pull in a piece of Daffodil Delight cardstock, the little punch pack. I love this little punch set. It's awesome. I said I found so many uses for the little punch pack punches. I use them all the time. That and the Boho Blossoms punch, so you might want to check those out if you have a second. I find I use them a lot. And of course the rhinestones. Can't go without her. I go through lots and lots of rhinestones. More rhinestones than pearls lately. Maybe it's because it's the time of the year. There you go. And that's a quick way to make a different background with the lines and using the Simply Scored diagonal plate. All of the items can be found in my online store. Be sure to visit www.mystamplady.com. Don't want to mention on that little punch pack. Thanks a lot for watching.